Howdy folks, good day to you. This is a uh, 2019 uh, Nissan NV, I think like 200. So I think it's an NV 200, but it has a wrap on the outside of it, so I can't see the badge. But it's a little Nissan uh, delivery cargo van type of deal. And uh, it is here, it got towed in, it does not start. Cranky, no starty. It's got 99,716 miles on the odometer. Customer states that vehicle died while driving. Now it's been here a couple days. Uh, we already kind of checked it out. The uh, fuel pump comes on out back, but it's making a very nasty grinding sound. So uh, we have determined that the fuel pump is faulty and it needs to be replaced. Now, according to all data, there should be an access hatch down below where I can just pop the hatch up and uh, that's where the fuel tank is, or where the fuel pump is rather. So uh, let's take a look down under and see where the tank is, then we'll go back in the cargo area and uh, try to locate said hatch to gain access to the tank. Uh, it looks like it's on that side over there, far away. So uh, let's go over the other side and go in through the cargo door and uh, see if we can't find a little excess hole in the bottom of the truck. Opening cargo, yeah, that, that's not happening. Um, well, looks like the fuel tank's coming down after all. I uh, stand corrected. Okay. Back up, I'm gonna push this thing in. Okay, looks like we're pushing. Here, you guys sit right there and drive. And uh, we'll go ahead and push this thing in. Neutral. Hang on, dude, let me uh, let me get out. Oh, all right, go, go, go. Go, 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 yep. There was a car coming. Push, push, all right. We're good. Right, right there. Perfect. Thanks, guys. I don't know about perfect, but it's in there. It's good enough. It's perfect enough. That's what's up. Okay, let's set our lift real quick and we'll go down under and take a peek. What do you want? Me song going up. All right, so we're back down below. Found our fuel tank. And uh, obviously we couldn't get at it from the top due to a lack of uh, access hatch because all that stuff is bolted to the floor. So I'm just gonna pull this tank down. And I think, okay, yeah. Yeah, we'll pull the heat shield off just because that's kind of in the way. It looks a little cumbersome. And uh, let's see what else we have to do. We'll do the filler next. Got a little hose right there. That looks sketchy. Hose running through the frame rail. And then we'll do the two strap. So yeah, okay. Let me go fetch some tools and uh, we'll get started. Oh, just changed my mind. I'm not gonna take the shield off. It's got these little clip deals on here. Those look like fun to remove. Yeah, so I'll just do this with the shield in place. We'll see how that works out. Oh, stay tuned because this is gonna be a very good video. All right, so seeing as how this in fact is a uh, removing fuel tank job, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that the tank is full of fuel. I, uh, I neglected to look at it when uh, I was in the cabin. Let's see if I get a bath of a uh, petroleum. Whoa, hey, look at that. All right, we might be getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. No fuel coming through there. All right, let us uh, let me go get my floor jack. And then I can support this, and we'll pull the straps and start inching this thing down. All right, floor jack, you go over here for right now. That's what we like. all the way out, how about that? Floor jack, moving up. All the way up, let's go. Let's see, that's about the center right there, I think. A couple adjustments here and there, hooray, hooray. Contact. All right, time to draw first blood. So 
Marshall Wood, excellent. Molt Gravity, lost another one. Not really, it's, it's over there, I, I saw it. I'm gonna go fetch it before I lose it. Okay, that's two bolts, pick uh, number three. Tank is a uh, loosey goosey. I'm gonna lower the jack ever so slightly. We'll let this thing come down a little bit. Not a lot because it still has things connected to it, like the fuel lines. I don't think the tank is is full. It actually feels very empty. Hey, looky here, I found that access hatch. There it is. The one I can't get to, but I found it. That's it. Okay, we're looking at it from the uh, other side of the tank. This is from the driver's side point of view. Uh, we've got a couple connections back there, an evap connection right here. Actually, we can, we can pull that one through where that can stay on the, on the tank. Yeah, there's that one, and then there's this one over here. But uh, this tank feels extremely light to me. I'm actually going to hop inside and check that fuel gauge. And I know what you're thinking. Why didn't you do that earlier? And the answer is yes. It was done earlier. And uh, I do not recall the fuel gauge reading zero. However, that was uh, like last week or a few days ago. And and I don't really recall. So, I'm gonna hop in here and key this on and check the fuel. Reaching in, not starting the auto. What do we got? All right, it says it's just under a half a tank. Okay, good enough. Proceeding, powering down. <laughs> so, I didn't think this one through. I'm a little high up. Uh oh. Hang on here. There we go. Look at that. Safety. I'm good, everybody. Don't worry. I'm good. One hand for yourself, one for the boat. That's the rules. It's a sailing metaphor, but it, it applies. Okay, this can go. Put you right there for now. Stay. Okay, so this tank does not feel like it's half a tank. It feels like it's an empty tank. And uh, since we're mostly all the way out, I'm just going to go ahead and disconnect it and drop it the rest of the way down. I mean, especially since I can't even verify how much fuel is in it. Besides, even if it is out of fuel and the gauge is wrong, the sender's in the tank, so I gotta pull the tank out anyway. Disconnecting. And we've got two more connections over here. Let's see. That's gonna be a fun one. Come on. Aha. You gas. Nice. I think that's all of my connections. Ding. Yeah, this is a nice easy one. Okay, let's back up and let this thing down some. Okay, fuel tank, you're coming with me. Let her down. Nice and easy. Yeah, there might be something in there. I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? All the way down. Down, down, down. Alright, yeah, this feels pretty, really, really light. Yeah, it's pretty light. It's got some fuel in it, but it's, uh, I think it's very empty. I think it ran out of fuel because the gauge is not accurate. That's what I think. All righty, step one, remove dirt violently, especially around the uh, fuel pump area. I don't want that sand and stuff to get inside of the tank. Bye. 
behind dirt. Oh yeah, that feels good. Perfect on a hot day. newer to the channel and probably haven't seen this yet but I, I used to uh, take a chisel and a hammer and uh, use it to drive this ring off it's like a lock ring I used to use that to drive this ring off and, and everybody in the comments got really mad at me for uh, using a chisel citing the possibility of creating a spark and then blowing myself up so uh, after that first video I made many many moons ago where I used a chisel to open one of these uh, due to the backlash of the fire hazard I created, I have uh, vowed and promised never to use a chisel on a fuel tank ever again. And uh, I'm here to keep my word. So uh, for everyone who is new, you are now aware of uh, what's going on and why. And now you get to see my revised method. Lost steam. Couple things. There. I did not use a hammer and a chisel. I'm sticking to my word. Okay, yeah, this tank's uh, pretty much bone dry. There's uh, there's nothing in there. It's pretty empty. Did you guys ever see the inside of a fuel tank? Hang on a minute. inspection reveals a very ugly looking uh, sending unit yeah I don't know about all that it's kind of charred up and burnt a little bit I wonder I wonder if our failure was right here by the way I'm gonna go fetch my new one we have a new pump here already we're gonna drop that guy in and then uh, put some gas in it and see if this thing's gonna start all right, I return. I've got my delivery. It's a previously been open delivery or a rebox or something, I don't know. But this is supposed to be a fuel pump. I guess we're gonna find out. It came straight from the Nissan dealer and the survey says, yeah, we got a fuel pump in there. That's good. What else do we have? Some plastic clips that I don't need. All right, I don't even know why those are in here. Let's see, unboxing said unit, or unwrapping. Yeah, that was great. Good thing it goes back on. Okay, well, this one is not melted looking. And this one is pretty burnt up and melted looking, so we're gonna go with uh, the replacement. Let's lose the dirt. Come on, dirt. I saw a couple pieces of debris down there. Let me just kind of dab that up. ring get it started so it holds the pump the pump is kind of spring-loaded see right here and so it's always pushing down in the bottom of the tank and it's always pushing up on the on the ring I said I wouldn't remove these with the chisel 
Never said a word about installation. Compliance annoys me. Actually, I think the empty tanks are the worst because you get complacent and you don't have any fear because there's no weight, but there's usually enough fuel in them where if you lean them, it'll all run to one side and then that'll tip the thing over. So you drop an empty fuel tank. Smooth move. Stop going sideways. Get back over there. See? See, it's migrating that direction. I don't like this. It will not comply. All right, let's maneuver back up here again and uh, start getting things plugged back in. That's our uh, primary connector. Click. Oh, I need to get the clip off of the old fuel pump. Hang on here. This little retainer guy right there, I need that. Unclip two times. There we go. Okay, coming back up here. Let's pull that guy out. Come here, you little red thing. Okay, that goes there. And then this one, this is where we get sketchy. I'm moving the whole assembly here. Hang on. Bear with me. Oh, I can't move it. There's a towel on the wheels of the jack. That was stupid. Come on. Fuel pump click. All right. That's what we need. And then, over here, got this little EVAP line to connect. So Click. All right, we're good. Let's go ahead and raise this thing up. You know, this is one of those rare instances where a misdiagnosis actually fixed the problem. You believe that? Because everybody seemed to think that the pump itself died. Which technically it did, but the unit died, but not the pumping mechanism within the unit. Oh, I forgot that other hose. There's a hose that runs through. That's the, uh, the vent hose for when you have to refill. Probably should uh, put that back. Coming down again. I love my job so much. I'll do it twice. Okay, where'd that thing go? There it is. You go in there. Okay, made it through the other side. We're good. Back up again. Oh, 
right there. Look at that. Good. Okay, we got one bolt, one strap, one hole, couple clicks. Plug this guy in right there. You stay there for now. And we've got to get, let's get this one in next over here. And this one goes through that side there. Okay. Click. All right, let's get this, uh, this one over here on the back. Click. And uh, one more. I got one more. I love rolly chairs. All right, last one. Good. You know what's really cool? Is I, uh, I beat the clock on this, and I didn't even use the hat. Yeah, the book time for this is like 1.6 hours, and that involved uh, removing the little cover inside and just doing the pump through the body of the, of the vehicle. I beat the clock, uh, actually taking the tank down. It's awesome. Hooray for me. All right, Jack, get out of here. We don't need you. Let's let this thing down. And then we're going to go up there and check that fuel gauge because that's our, our ultimate determination of whether our, our, uh, our guesstimate diagnosis was accurate. I don't know why I'm filming that thing. It's just a flashlight magnet. But since I went there, we have to demonstrate said flashlight magnet. Get in there, one-handed. Yeah, see? Flashlight magnet. Okay, enough screwing around. Nissan, coming down. Actually, first it's going up, it's on the locks. All right, enough screwing around. Nissan, coming down. The lock all the way down. I guess I'm gonna go get some gas myself since uh, no one else has done such things yet. I asked them to get me some, but I guess everyone's busy. But I'm not, so I'll go get it. No worries. Okay, fuel level check. Key on. Booyah, look at that. Oh, sorry, I thought you were looking for a gas, for a gas, uh, I can't even talk. Gasoline, oh, you thought I was looking for it. No, I was I over here. that's what you said when you walked out? No, I said I haven't seen the can. Gas and can, then, that's what I was trying to Yeah, you were looking for a gas can so we could buy gas. I don't have any gas cans. You want me to go buy one? Give me the credit card. Powering down. How's the saying go? If you want anything done, just ask me to do it. Let's get out of here. No. You know, this, uh, so this actually works out to my benefit because I needed to get fuel anyway. And uh, I can just get fuel while I'm over here getting some gasoline. And then I don't have to get fuel after I leave work. And that makes my day more efficient, so that's, I think that's good. Yeah, that's why my job is awesome, because I get paid to put gas in my own truck. <laughs> Diesel. Diesel. Synergy. Powering down. And no, I'm not putting fuel in my vehicle on the company's money. That would be unethical and terrible. And I would not do such things. Ouch, look at that. 509, that's pain. It's leaking. Better not be water. Begin pumping now. All right. Okay, and then this one. Open, please. Mm -hmm. And we want 87 octanes for three dollars and sixty-nine cents. Yep. Piece of 
junk. Gonna work. Getting annoyed. Pump. I don't have all day. Roads are wet. Just saying. Mm, all right, what do we got here? Two and a half gallons. That's good enough. Point that up so it doesn't spill. Dang, this thing still isn't done yet. That one's done, but big one's not. Okay. All right, 150 bucks for not even 30 gallons of fuel. That's cool. America. Tank click. Let's get out of here. All right, back inside. Let's uh, let's fuel this thing up. Find the release thing. Fuel door release. Popping the fuel door. Unclicks. Take all day. There. This is how we avoid spilling with the new EPA regulated fuel nozzles. Took longer to fuel the tank with that stupid safe EPA valve than it did pull the tank out. All right, let's see what we get now. We have fuel in the tank. Survey says, uh, no. Still reading zero. I only put like a gallon in. Let's go ahead and start it. Come on now, wake up, wake up. Oh, there she is, it's alive. I didn't tighten down the clamp on the filler neck. It's down at the, at the tank, down at the tank. Let's go do that, I need to do that right now. Powering down. Yeah, I bet you guys thought you had me on that one, but I remembered, like you were close. I'll give it to you, you were pretty close this time, but Close does not get you there. Click. There we go. Come on out. Restarting the engine. Yeah, the filler neck was... Nice. It is alive. It is well. It does need some more fuel though. It doesn't have any. But uh, I have done my, my duty and I have fixed said vehicle. Yeah. All right guys, our Nissan van is done. It lives again. It does need some more fuel. I'll make sure to let them know to uh, go put gas in it. And uh, then they're good to go. They're back on the road. So uh, that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video right now. And I will do such things by thanking each and every one of you for watching this video. Certainly hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please feel free to let me know about that by tapping that like button down below. If you did enjoy it, uh, just watch tomorrow's video and uh, maybe you'll enjoy that one. So again, and as always, thank you for watching, and most importantly, do not forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. Ending of transmission.